Hi everybody, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor. Today we're going to discuss exit strategies and the importance of exit strategies when selling covered call options. You know, over the years I've spoken with thousands of investors who write covered calls and I've found that the one common thread of weakness in many of their strategies is the lack of appropriate exit strategy execution. You would do exit strategies basically in two time frames. First, in the early part of the contract period when the stock value is declining. And secondly, on or near expiration Friday when the value of your stock has surpassed the strike price and you may not want to have your shares assigned. Today we're going to discuss a situation where I purchased the stock for 52.50 and sold the 55 call. Towards the end of the contract period, the last two days, the stock dropped dramatically down to $45 a share. That represents a $7.50 loss per share or $750 per contract. Ouch. However, during that contract period, I instituted exit strategies, plural, that really made the month not so bad. I still lost some money, but I want to show you how exit strategies can decrease your losses. And this doesn't require any special expertise, just some education and being prepared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both the one month chart of the stock and it's an oil company ticker SLB and then I'm going to show you when I made my moves and I'm also going to show you the one month chart of the option and you can see how the option value moves in coordination with the stock value. Okay so let me give you a second to grab a pen and paper. Okay we're ready to get started. You're very quick. All right, I'm going to uh, reference my paperwork down on my desk, so I may not be looking directly at you while I'm speaking. But first, let me show you the chart, the one-month chart of SLB. And I've put some numbers on the chart. And let me move it here so perhaps you could see it better. All right, I'm just going to angle it, and hopefully... Well, that's not good. All right, there we go. Okay, so here we have it. You see I've numbered one through six. All right, and number one represents when I purchased the stock and sold the option for the first time. Then you see the value of the stock went down to number two, and that's where I bought back the option. So I sold my first option at number one, and then I bought it back at number two. Then what happens? The value of the stock goes up, 0.3. And that's when I sold my second option. That's called hitting a double. Now, we're actually going to hit a triple today because it's going to happen one more time. And as you can see, the stock then goes down. And at point number four, we see that it drops down dramatically from 0.3, and I was able to buy back the option again at 0.4. The next day, the stock jumps up dramatically, and 0.5, I again sold the option. So the option was sold at 0.1 initially, bought back at 0.2, sold at 0.3, bought back at 0.4, sold at 0.5, and then unfortunately around 6, the stock takes a big hit and drops way down to the $45 that I referenced before. This is what I call hitting a triple because we sell the option initially, that's a single. We buy back the option, sell it again, that's a double, and then it happened one more time. Now hitting a triple is very, very rare. So uh, I just want you to know that hitting a double is much more common, but in this case I actually did it, sold the option three times. Now I'm going to show you the chart of the option and I'm going to give you specific numbers in terms of the sale and the buyback of the option premiums. And the numbers on the option chart reference the same points as in the stock chart. Okay, so here we go again. Point one is on October 20th, 
where I bought the stock and sold the 55 call. It was purchased for $52.50. I sold the 55 call for $3.50. Okay? Then at point two, you see it drops way down. And I was able to buy the close or buy back the option at point at 70 cents. Okay, now I'm going to tell you in my new book that you can buy back an option in the early part of the contract period at 20% of the initial sale premium. So 350, 20% is 70 cents, and that fits the criteria. Now look what happens. The stock goes way up. Now I ended up selling the option or hitting the double at point three. I didn't get the full impact. I didn't go to the, to the zenith of that, that increase. I got it a little bit lower down. But at point three, I sold the call at two dollars. So I bought it back at 70 cents and I sold it at two dollars. What happens? the stock goes down again. Look look how much it dropped by point four. Point four, I bought it back again and I bought it back for 20 cents. That's how much it dropped down. Also, it's getting later in the contract period. Okay, but the very next day, point five, you see that it goes way up again. I was able to sell that same 55 strike, same month, for $1.20. And then you see the, the option premium, as it always does, falls off a cliff the last couple of days. So let's go, just review it again. You see at point one, we did our initial option sale. Point two, we bought it back. Point three, we sold it. Point four, we bought it back. Point five, we sold it again. Let me give you the numbers. At point one, we bought the stock for 52.50, sold the 55 call for $3.50. Okay, at point three, we sold the 55 call for $2. At point four, we bought back the option at 20 cents. And at point five, we sold the same 55 call, third time in, in the one month contract, this time for $1.20. Okay, now if you add up all the premiums that we collected, it comes to we collected $670 worth, worth of premiums. Now, in, when we closed our positions, we spent $90. So the actual profit from options, sales, and buybacks came to $580. $580 profit. Now remember, the value of the stock plummeted the last two days. There's really not much you can do when that happens. And it plummeted from $52.50 down to $45. That's a loss of $750 per contract. However, because we made $580 in our option sales after taking off the buy to close premiums, we ended up with a total loss of $170, which is a lot more palatable than a total loss of $750. And remember, all it took was preparation and a few clicks on the computer. Now, if we didn't have that bad luck of having that precipitous drop in the value of the stock those last two days, we actually would have made money. Even if the stock was down let's $2.50, we would have made a significant profit on that particular deal, uh, even if the stock went down, let's say, a couple of percent. So exit strategies is critical. It'll take you from the 1 to 2 percent range to the 2.5 to 3.5 percent per month range. So uh, I just wanted to point out to you, this is just one of the strategies that you can use when selling options. There's a lot more. I spell them all out in my book, Exit Strategies for Covered Call Writing. And uh, perhaps down the road, I'll make more of these videos and show you some more examples. This is Alan Elman thanking you for watching and looking forward to hearing from you. Take care, everybody.